got to a bank. And what you're looking at there is 250 feet of telescope. It's the third largest telescope of its kind in the world. And as you drive towards Jodrell Bank through Cheshire, you can see it for miles around, scanning the skies, scanning space. What for? Well, a lot of things. But later this year, it'll join the biggest telescope in the world at Arecibo at uh, Puerto Rico to search for alien life. Now, it's the biggest project of its kind so far. Over the last 20 years or so, technology has changed so much that they now feel that they're at the stage that can, they can search for life out there. Now, joining me now is Ian Morrison from Jodrell Bank. Good morning, Ian. Good morning. Now, why do you feel that now the time is right to find life? Well, the receivers we have now are vastly superior than at any time in the past. And using these two, one of the largest pair of telescopes one can get, basically, we have a realistic chance of detecting any signals, should there be any out there. Now, are we talking about little green men sending us pictures of uh, their equivalent of Coronation Street, or, or what? I don't really think so. They'll be very simple signals. We don't know, of course, who they'd look like. So perhaps they'd sound something like this. Little pulses, very regular pulses. In fact, when these were first discovered about 30 years ago, people actually thought they might be signals from somebody out there, and they called them LGM 1, 2, and 3 for little green men. Now, they'll be very simple signals, but we should, if they come, be able to decode them and perhaps learn something about whoever's out there. Well, it's, it's probably life, but not as we know it. Do you yourself really believe that there could be life out there? I'm sure that life in a simple form is going to be very widespread in our galaxy. We, have, we know there are lots of planets already, we've been discovering them, and many of those must have life on them. Probably very simple life. We have no idea whether that life will evolve into intelligent civilizations like ours. So that could be very rare. If we keep looking for perhaps 10 or 20 years, either we'll detect something that will be the most exciting discovery of this or the next millennium, if we don't, maybe we'll realize that perhaps we are rather special, and as a human race, we ought to look after ourselves and our planet a little bit better than we do at present. It's obviously very exciting. Thanks Absolutely. very much, Ian. Now, uh, they will be sending, uh, they will be looking for signals out there, but what the guys tell me here is that at the moment, they are not actually sending signals out there to be received and sent back. Now, perhaps the, they think that it may be safer at the moment to sit quietly and observe rather than shout about the fact that we are actually here. Back to the studio. <laughs> the last Wonderful exit for Di there. Don't you think, though, that if there was anybody out there, they're probably sitting there and looking at us and thinking, what a mess they've made of their life. And they're just sort of sitting there, so every time there's a telescope turned around, they'll say, close the curtains, shh, be really quiet. <laughs> Ignore them and they'll go away. <laughs> exactly. Obviously, they're not watching the X-Files. <laughs> anyway, what's Earth time? 6.22. <laughs>